like one, two, three, and then you hit it. And then <laughs> scary. It. I feel like it's not gonna know how to do it. Sake, sake, sake. Yeah, it's still beer though. You're very welcome. Hope you enjoy. So I was Stanford. I was in LA last week with my love. So good. And then I was like, wait, I'm in California. It's so interesting to come back and like not go here anymore. <laughs> and like have people like walking around. I can like kind of feel slightly some of the like frantic energy. And I'm noticing myself like some of my old habits of like just pulling my laptop out and like looking at it as if I'm supposed to do work we're like coming up because like my friends are like you know in classes and stuff but I'm like wait I don't have to and I can really just enjoy being here when I was here I feel like I used to always talk about like wow I wish I could just be here and not <laughs> take classes but I am so that's pretty cool I've also been thinking a lot about haunting is the word that like keeps coming into my mind I started reading The Intuitionist and I'm reading it right now and I'm really really enjoying it and the number of times that they're like evoking this like haunting, um, poltergeist, like they keep just like using so many words around that. So I've been thinking about like the haunting, like haunting spaces. And like being back on campus, I'm thinking about like the old me, like, <laughs> like kind of roaming around here and um, me like almost like seeing her in moments. It's like a very visceral experience and haunting not in a bad way i feel like it's made to seem so scary but i think that's just because like a lot of people are scared of spirits but haunting just to mean like for something to still the energy of something to still be in a space even if it's just like someone's name being invoked in a space like when people are like oh we missed you or oh we were talking me and this person were just talking about how we i'm like did you summon me here was i <laughs> haunting this face in like the zague way and then like materialize anyway lots of pondering <laughs> we're here in the kitchen being the domestic queen i am i'm making greens with kale i'm probably gonna have them with rice or i might have them with that uh i got the Trader Joe's mac and cheese this one it's so good it's so good it's one of the things that makes me happy i'm not vegan anymore it's really good, and I'm mostly vegan, but I like just at least having the flexibility to eat some of the things um, that I've been craving for like literally six years. So it's a good new balance point, I think, that I'm finding, which is exciting. I've just been hanging out with friends, getting to talk, it's so good to just get to catch up with people. And then like as you're catching up, you like are processing things that you've like been through in the past however long since you've seen them. Like, I've just come to some new <laughs> realization. I'm like, wait, <laughs> that was kind of weird. <laughs> that happened to me. That's been really cool. I'm watching The Housewives. So, it's a good night. Food really is medicine. It'll literally be elixir, like the broth at the bottom of the greens will like have soaked in so much of the beautiful nutrients and everything that's being cooked. That makes me so excited. I love cooking and it's magic. So we have to do some things that are traditional here. And I came through with the samurai lesson. A little bit of slicing, burn off some steam, cut somebody, I don't know. <laughs> okay, the funniest thing is happening to me. So 
I've been thinking about starting to divine with playing cards. Um, I like tarot. Um, don't get me wrong, I like tarot. But um, I feel like I have been getting signs to like do something that's more traditional to hoodoo. So I was like, okay, I want a deck, but I didn't really feel like buying one or like, I just felt like I'd find one. But then we went to this thing the other day and like they had cards there and they just like left them on the table. So I was like, okay, I guess these are mine now. That TikTok sound was like, you're coming home with me. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just a lot of different things have happened where it's like, okay, yeah, I was supposed to get the cards. And what just happened was <laughs> I realized there was like an extra card in the deck. There's like a blue one and the deck is red ones. And I was like, huh, I wonder if this is an extra or if it's just like filling the deck. So I kind of make sure all the cards were there. And it was just an extra, um, and it was the Ace of Spades. And then I took the blue card out, put the red Ace of Spades away, back into the deck, just had the deck setting. Then I was like, okay, let me, you know, pull a card, get a message. And then the red Ace of Spades comes back out again. <laughs> like, why'd you put me away? Um, this was actually a message the whole time. And then um, I, like, remembered that um, Satara, who I really just i love <laughs> i love so deeply i w wanted to watch one of her um like lives that she has on her ig and so i was like okay i'll watch one of those right now and it was like hitting so many messages so many things i've been thinking about like made so crystal clear and then she mentions um her playing card course and i kind of been teetering because i'm like Sometimes I could be a little stubborn. I'm like, oh, I should just stick with tarot. Maybe I should just get a new tarot deck and like something with clearer imagery or something like that. I'm also like wanting to learn playing cards, but then I was also like, what if I just like do it myself and just read them intuitively? Um, but I think you can still read them intuitively while having like guidance about the system. Um, but anyway, so I was kind of teetering back and forth about that. But then she mentioned her playing card course in the live and I was like, okay, yeah, I feel like I'm at least... I should go check it out. So anyway, I get it. To make a long story medium length, because I'm still including quite a few details, but um, I get the course. And then I'm like, okay, which like, um, it's like playbacks of um, these lives. I'm like, which one is first? I ended up clicking on the last one first, but I'm like skipping through to try to see, like, is it first or last basically? And the part I skipped to, <laughs> she's pulling cards and she pulls the <laughs> She pulls the ace of spades. <laughs> I'm like, I literally started laughing. Like I start, I start cackling, laughing. It's just another moment where I'm like, oh wow, this shit is, <laughs> shit's really real. Yeah. I got an elephant shy. She's so yummy. So that's my necklace. <laughs> I felt like I heard spirits say, go for a walk, like get outside at some point today. And then I started walking and I'm like, wait, kind of feels like I'm on my way to Kuppa. And now here I am. So, happy that I listened. So happy to be outside. I'm in the mix, cooking something delicious. What a blessing.